I'm meteorologist Chris Holcomb from the 11 Alive Storm Trackers. Did you feel it today? Just afternoon between noon and one o'clock in Atlanta, our temperature moved up above freezing. So finally, the big thaw started taking place out there this afternoon with those temperatures that have been above freezing since again between 12 and one. We're above freezing now and we'll stay above freezing until around eight o'clock tonight before we go back to below freezing. So that'll be a good eight hours worth of melting that's taking place. The only problem is though, we are going back below freezing. So any water water that is left behind from some of those icy patches around could refreeze again tonight. I don't think it's going to be widespread, but there will still be some slick spots around. This is how it looks right now live from our Midtown Tower Cam. We're looking up toward the north and west up toward Buckhead. Things look great with plenty of sunshine out there, clear skies with that warmer air. It just felt so much nicer today. This is a live look from Cobb County as we're looking toward the west and you can see the sun uh, getting closer to the horizon. It's going to be setting around 554 tonight and we'll see a nice sunset out there with these clear skies. Now, let me show you what we're watching in the area with these temperatures. We're still holding at 40 degrees right now in the city of Atlanta. On the north side, it is a little cooler. We have a few more of those 40s around. We're talking 39 in Marietta. 37 in Duluth, 36 in Canton, 37 in Blairsville, even Clayton right now up in the mountains, 42, Gainesville, 41. So some thawing taking place there. And on the uh, south side and southeast of us, we've got some mid 40s around in Covington and Eatonton. Both of those places are at 45 degrees. Now we do move below freezing during the evening hours tonight. We'll be below freezing in the morning in the mid 20s, and I think we'll be below freezing until about the 10 o'clock hour tomorrow. That's when we'll get back to 32 and above. And so I think we'll get to freezing a little earlier in the day tomorrow and have more hours of temperatures staying above freezing in the afternoon to help us with any additional thawing out there from any of those icy patches that'll be around. We eventually top off around 51 in the afternoon, still a lot of sunshine. So the sun and that warmer air helps to kind of work away at whatever is left with some of those icy see patches around. Now we're watching the cold air retreat, enjoying some slightly warmer air that's going to be moving into our area. Once we move into next week, we'll have another cool surge come in, but not really an, an Arctic blast like we've been dealing with. So here we're, here's how we're looking tonight. See this blue line? That's the freezing line. This is at seven o'clock tonight. North Georgia will be, ba be back to freezing first, and then areas to the east of us will hold on to that warmth for a little bit. But then you see that blue line moving down to the south. That means that those freezing temperatures are definitely coming back. And then we warm up a little quicker tomorrow getting back to above freezing in this map. I know it looks kind of boring here because nothing major is moving our way. We'll just watch a couple of wind shift lines that'll be pushing in. We'll keep watching those temperatures getting close to freezing again on your uh, Saturday morning. And then once we get into the afternoon hours, we're warming up even more. So the trend is going to be each and every afternoon. We're going to see these temperatures warm up just a little bit more 50s tomorrow, mid 50s on Saturday. And then once we get into Sunday, we're going to see those temperatures into the 60s. So we start at 32 Saturday morning with a high of 50 six, a 10 on the wasometer with mostly sunny skies, another 10 on Sunday, but even a little bit warmer with those temperatures getting up to 62 degrees. Now we get, we're going to stay dry for the rest of the week. Also into the weekend. Once we get into next week, that's when we see some showers move in. This is for Monday. I think it, it'll be, <coughs> excuse me, later in the day when we see some of these showers move in Monday. They'll move out by early Tuesday morning. The good news with this temperatures near 60 on Monday, so it's all the liquid variety of precepts. So staying dry Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, temperatures each day warming up a little bit more. 51 Friday, 56 Saturday, 62 Sunday. There you see that rain coming in later on Monday and then drying out Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Partly cloudy skies with highs in the mid 50s. We'll see more 50s in the 11 day look ahead uh, and then a little cooler. Once we get toward the end of the month, we'll also see a few showers uh, impacting us for that 11 day look ahead too.